Hey guys, this is Chetan for Gizmo Times and you're watching a quick unboxing and hands-on with the Xiaomi's Mi 10i. So the Mi 10 series actually has almost about uh, three devices already. Xiaomi's Mi 10, the flagship that was first launch, uh, launched in India and then the Mi 10T and the Mi 10T Pro. And finally, we are seeing a device that comes with a little less surprising, obviously, because it comes with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 750G. But again, remember that this comes with the 5G connectivity. So whenever the 5G connectivity actually launched, launches in India, you might have a a future proof device in the hand in case you choose to go with this device but what's good what's bad what's uh, the phone coming with uh, let's talk about all of that and also do a quick unboxing to check out what all comes in the box package itself firstly you can see uh, there are two things uh, mentioned on the top of the box itself you can see that there's a 108 mp 108 mp is a new sensor it's uh, the uh, new sensor called HM2 sensor that is coming in here and uh, along with that you have the made in India uh, tag given there and uh, towards the bottom you can see that 5G connectivity so it has the band support probably for the future bands that are going to be available in India and uh, now these are the major uh, specifications if you can uh, check them out uh, it has Qualcomm Snapdragon 750G uh, it's an 8 nanometer processor so it's not something that's only coming for that 5G connectivity it comes with a pretty good performance there and uh, there's a 120 hertz intelligent active sync uh, adaptive sync uh, display so you have a total of uh, six different refresh rates that it would actually switch to whenever uh, there's a need for it so from 30 48 50 60 90 and 120 hertz uh, it would choose one of them based on the usage i mean if it's a social media application then 120 would be gone too if it's gaming then 60 or 90 based on what the game is offering and for the areas whenever there's not a lot of uh, refresh rate necessary then the refresh rate would actually fall down to 30 48 or 50 based on uh, the app or the content that you are watching and that's when the battery can be saved but the battery is not small here it's a 4820 mAh battery there's a 33 watt fast charger given in the box package itself and uh, that 33 watt fast charging can offer 100% charge in about 58 minutes now apart from that you also have the UFS 2.2 that's the new storage standard that is uh, given here there's dual speakers that's stereo speaker uh, given here this ambient light sensor that's 360 degree ambient light sensor and uh, as i said 108 mp megapixel 108 mp camera is a new one there's a 8 megapixel uh, wide angle camera with a 120 degree of field of view then 2 mp macro 2 mp depth and gorilla, uh, gorilla glass 5 protection on the front and back both is offered so there's a glass back on the uh, device ir blaster which is common for every xiaomi device that is also given and uh, that's it you also might be uh, able to see what the phone has on its physical aspect when we actually unbox it this is the pacific sunrise and an 8 gb 128 gb option and pacific sunrise actually i mean is something that the brand said is the best color so happy that i got to see this color uh, than the other ones so let's first check out what all comes in the box package here so firstly designed by xiaomi obviously and then once you open this up you can see the sim ejector tool let me also pull that out because we can show you the sim access area what all is offered there do we have a dedicated micro sd card slot that's what we need to see there and this is uh, the user guide that is offered in the box package then you have a transparent cover good thing to see a cover inside the box package this is not a transparent one this actually is a bit translucent and uh, there's that cut out uh, for that unique camera combination so you don't have a circle you have a horizontal uh, um, top and bottom areas and uh, the flash is out of that camera module area so at least you have a cover that's a good thing to see now this is the device uh, that's the xiaomi mi 10i let me pull out the cover first so that we could give you a quick overlook of how good the design is and frankly i am liking this design and this is uh, the pacific sunrise obviously a gradient finish kind of uh, look that you get to see here 5G is clearly mentioned towards the back of the phone to give you an indication that this phone is future proof for that connectivity and then you have the camera combination as I said a unique looking camera combination again with the, the cutouts towards the top and uh, bottom and then the flash area that is separately present there built for 5G I'm not sure why they have uh, offered that 5G note over that area but it is still given there and this is not an AMOLED display it's an IPS LCD but we've known Xiaomi or Redmi both the brands to do well with LCDs as well but having 120 hertz is what would make this a better experience for the display area and 450 nits is the maximum brightness that you see here and you have uh, the punch hole uh, area on the top it's not a, a, a complete notch it's a punch hole area towards the center that houses a 16 megapixel in display camera with the f2.45 uh, aperture size 
Now, we'll talk about the camera later. Let's uh, also check out what else comes in the box package. You have a USB Type-C cable and that's obvious. Anyway, Xiaomi has been offering USB Type-C on several of its devices and this is nothing new. Obviously, with the Mi series, you won't see a lot of compromises in these kind of areas uh, because uh, that's a premium lineup that you see from Xiaomi mostly. And uh, these are the standards that you see on the travel adapter that you see here. Uh, it's 5V, uh, 3A, 9V, 2A, 12V, 1.5A. So you have the 12V, 2.25A. That's uh, the uh, standard that we're looking out for. That's 33 watt. 33 watt fast charging is present on this one. So you don't have to buy a charger separately. The supported standard of 33 watt is offered inside the box itself. Uh, so that's a good thing to see. So of course, you have the box package uh, fully loaded with everything except for the headphones. But we haven't seen Xiaomi offering headphones in quite some time anyway. So that's nothing new. You can't expect that here. And now this is the MIUI uh, 12. Uh, you would see a lot of uh, pre-installed applications obviously and you have the choice of either having everything on the home screen or you could have them in, uh, inside the app drawer. So I chose to go with the app drawer and let me tell you a couple of apps that I have installed from my side, not a couple of them but you will uh, see them, Antutu, APK Pure and apart from that um, PUBG Mobile and uh, the Geekbench app if that is installed. Yeah, These are the applications that I have installed from my side. So everything else is pre-installed. So if you look at uh, the number of apps that are pre-installed, they obviously are a lot. So if you go into this and check this out, you have the uninstall option for this one. You have the uninstall option probably for this one as well. Yes, you have that. And then for this one. So these preloaded games, the smaller games that you have about five, um, yeah, five games are print. No, six games are preloaded, and then you have the Mi Credit and a lot of uh, Xiaomi applications that are present here. There's also Google One present there, and the Google apps are obviously there. There's FM Radio also preloaded into this one, so that's a good thing to see. But these apps, since they are, I mean, you can uninstall them. That's a good thing. Otherwise, they would be that junk of bloatware which you don't really like. It just takes a few seconds of yours to delete those apps, so that's a good thing. Again, if you go into the About section of the smartphone, uh, here's uh, what it is. It's 12.0.3 MIUI global version and uh, uh, this is not the actual storage. I'll show you about that later. And uh, this is based on Android 10. So you might see the Android 11 uh, update uh, later into the MIUI 12.5, hopefully. Or if not, then anyway, MIUI is much different from what you see on the regular uh, interfaces. So this is the Android benchmark score. You can see about 3,33,000 points. So it's not a very um, compromised chipset. It actually is a pretty powerful one. You have a good score on the CPU. GPU score are de is decent enough, but the CPU is actually much more powerful here. And if we go into the uh, storage to check out the storage. So this is the occupied storage uh, when we actually booted up the phone for the first time. So about 110 GB is what the user is going to get uh, when you're using the phone for the first time. And uh, let's check out the physical aspect of it. You have the fingerprint sensor on the side of the phone and this is the power button plus the fingerprint sensor. You have the volume rocker button just above that. So the size of the button is not that large. So you might have to precisely hit on the top or bottom to actually increase or reduce the volume. On the left, you have the SIM card access area. On the top, you have the IR blaster as well as the secondary microphone. Towards the bottom, you have the uh, primary microphone, the speaker grill, as well as uh, the uh, 3.5mm headset jack and USB Type-C port. This is what is really important. I mean, the headset jack is something that most of the brands have started uh, removing. And even from the Xiaomi's uh, flagship level, that's the Mi 10 series or the Mi 10T series, that was removed and uh, that actually is something that people actually miss for even the gaming enthusiasts for gamers having a headphone jack is really important and that is what was not present on the previous devices but on the Mi 10i you have the headphone jack so uh, now you have a dual slot where you have a sim card plus a sim card plus micro sd card slot so you have a hybrid sim slot at least a positive thing that you have expandable storage option but you don't have it dedicatedly present that's okay now going back into the interface and into the camera application since this is one of the major things in this smartphone uh, there's the 108 megapixel uh, hm2 sensor that's the new sensor and that would be really important to check out so we'll be anyway doing a cam complete camera overview complete camera review with the various camera angles and samples to let you know how good the camera is so you have uh, the option of portrait you have the option of uh, 108 mp separately given here now if i take a quick capture i'll just show you how much time it takes for the capture to be completed here so this is just captured and uh, the processing does not take a lot of time yes 
the photo is already captured and this is the 108 MP switch to 108 MP preview. Uh, you can see the grill on that lens, uh, the f1.1 lens. No, this is the fixed f1.7 lens, but obviously since this is 108 MP, the depth of uh, field uh, would make the corners a bit uh, blurred and only the center area would be actually uh, under focus. So that's the 108 MP mode on the uh, device and under video you have the option of 4K recording but it's not OIS supported. It's only the gyro EIS that would work there. You have 4K at 30 FPS, you have 1080 at 60 FPS uh, possible with the video recording. Under pro mode you have those options of white balance, uh, the focal length, also the shutter speed, ISO and uh, the exposure value and also the lens switcher. You can change the lens whichever you want to use on this one. You can use the ultra wide lens which is a 120 uh, degree wide field of view so obviously this is what the uh, field of view is for the wide angle lens but if you change it to the regular lens you can see how different would that be so this is how it is on the regular camera but on 120 degrees it obviously is going to be much wider you can see this and the difference here and you also have the switcher for the macro lens you can actually use the macro camera uh, in the pro mode as well so that's what the camera here is so we will be anyway talking a lot more about the camera in a separate video where we will do the camera review but for now that's it this was a quick overview of the camera and the entire device and also the benchmarks i would say snapdragon 750g is not a compromised uh, chipset anyway it's quite a powerful one i mean having 5g is an advantage but the chipset itself should be good enough for the regular usage and it actually is good enough there. And apart from that, for the other features of this device, you have IP53 certification for the uh, water resistance and uh, spill proofing. Actually, you can just call it spill proof here. There's dual stereo speakers. So there's one towards the bottom, the bottom speaker. And along with that, you have the uh, earpiece area that holds the speaker. So there's uh, two speakers given here and uh, IR blaster is present. There's also the L1, L5 band dual navigation present on this uh, Xiaomi Mi 10i. And again, for the gamers, uh, there's uh, the uh, 240 Hertz of touch sampling rate for someone who's interested to know about that as well. So it's uh, 120 Hertz of refresh rate, but 240 Hertz touch sampling for uh, the uh, touch registrations. And if you go into the display and uh, check out whether you can change the uh, refresh rate, so you have the option of 60 and 120. You don't have the multi switcher, but obviously, uh, you can uh, choose to have that adaptive sync. You can't, I mean, it would automatically choose that uh, refresh rates whenever you're switching to different applications and that's where it would actually help save the battery life whenever that's possible. And apart from that, liquid cooling is what is uh, present here. That's what the brand has told us. So the liquid cooling works along with 11 sensors for the heat management. So whenever uh, there's uh, the heating of the chipset, then the uh, sensors would let the processor know that, okay, right now you need to actually cool down. So thermal throttling, could be possible or the liquid cooling would help reduce the temperature by about 5 degrees whenever that's uh, heating up during some intensive gaming sessions or while recording 4K videos possibly. So that's it. This was a quick overview of the Xiaomi Meet and I. We would do the full review and also the camera review and the gaming review would come live on this channel as well as on our Hindi gaming channel. That's Gaming Josh if you are interested to know more. So that's it guys. I hope you like this video. If you do, do share and subscribe to Gizmo Times for more. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video.